Do you know what an artist and a sniper have in common? Details. Like when a touch of color is out of place. When a shadow does not match with its surroundings. Or when a shape is not where it is supposed to be. The only difference is the stakes. Mine are higher. Dragonborn, let us taste that sexy voice. No. Thomas. Oh, okay, how to break Elden Ring with crossbows only. First, you will need a crossbow. Really? No shit. Start with any class, any gift. Falling on the horizon. And then commit tactical suicide. Whoa. What do you think is down there? Uh, death. Theirs or ours? Let's find out! I hate when she does that. In your everything, go to the first grace. Talk to Melanie. Refuse her aid. You don't need that shit. I understand. Have you weak? No. This whole thing don't have things. You're not even making sense. There is unity. Forgive is divine. Well, I'm not forgiven. And the error ain't mine. He ain't quite human. He's the not in my eyes. One sip of this and I'll give them the shock of the lies. Uh, you have no choice but to accept it. Head to Storm Mill and get one stone's worth key. Leave them all behind and go to Lear. Forgive me. Now she will understand her mistake. Go to the round table and get your first crossbow by using one stone's war key. A lot of ammo. Shots count. Go to Kaled and take the right half of Dectus Medallion. And the left half. Just keep going until you get your hands on Pulley Crossbow. Well, more shit to kill with! This baby shreds them, but consumes a ton of ammo. That's why you need to farm crafting materials. Take this recite. It allows you to craft lead bolts. You can farm blue roses from here, as long as you keep farming and crafting ammo. This challenge will be trivial. Well, why don't you try it an extra challenge? Huh, what you mean? If you really have the deadshot power within, so why not try headshot only? Well, I can do this. From now, I can only do damage by headshots. Well, good luck. This is gonna be fun to watch. I'll take the fuck out now. Alright, boys. Let's get to work. Now 
know you have to aim their heads. It does bonus damage, of course, but it's hard to use the aim system from this game, especially when you can't miss a single headshot. Oh no, it seems like you've missed a headshot. I regret to inform you, but you failed the challenge. My aim was clearly on his head, but even so the projectile hit the body. You is blind. Thank you, Elden Ring. Fuck it! Well, if you miss a headshot, there's no problem. You can just make another save and start all over again. Pass by tutorial, get some weapons, farm some materials, do all that with headshots only. Take your time practicing headshots. Catch your ass! Catch your ass! You want some too? I told, baby! I knew I was the chosen one! Oh man, check out Special Agent Death Show! I've been practicing for about 20 minutes. Now I feel confident. I was so freaked with headshots that I couldn't see a skull and not shoot at it. And then when I was farming some materials, then something terrible happened. I've missed a headshot. No! Don't worry boys, just make another save and start all over again. After doing that all over again, I decided that it is time to break this game for good. For this, you'll need pack a punch your weapon up to place 9, which requires some smithing stones. I want to try this without killing any bosses. The 5 and 6 you can easily obtain. The issue is the 7. For this, get abducted to Volcano Manor. Jump on the other side and take the elevator. Open the shortcut. The Sumber Stone 7 is right there. How do you reach there? Well, you need to go to this room and defeat. What is this? It looks like a Discord moderator. Well, beat him clearly is not an option. Here's what you should do. Climb on here. Now you have to perform this incredibly hard jump. And take the Sumber Stone 7. But don't worry if you miss the jump. Just create another save and start all over again. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 I'm only mucking about, relax. Like, why would you start all over just because you've missed a jump? Just try to do it again until you make it. Like, what the fuck? Now I bet there will be a common member who's going to pause right when I said that. Just create another save and start all over again. And I will answer, because I am a sadistic b- Well, now that you have the Sumber Stone 7, head to Khaled. There you can get the Sumber Stone 8 and 9. Pop up some cash. By the stones one up to four. Finally, reinforce your weapon up to plus nine. The damage is good, but not totally broken yet. Let's collect some buffing stuff and break this for good. The first one is right here. With the second one, you need to defeat Commander only. Remember to shoot only on his head. And I bet that you know what to do if you miss a headshot. So it's better you don't miss. Stay cool and aim his head. At this point, my aim is so good as a Rainbow Six Pro player. So that was candy easy. Who needs a dead shot daiquiri or whatever the fuck that is? 
With both buffs you can get some good amount of power. Not broken yet, but it's something. Step 1. Increase your firepower. Step 2. Show them the dead should power. It's almost easy, but I'm not done yet. Shut this boss is kinda difficult, but I tried my best. I'm not sure if all my shots hit on his head, but I guarantee that most of them did. Anyways, I consider this as a headshot only. headshots in your last fight. I mean, you can clearly see on this footage. I regret it for you, but you'll need to start all- Shut the fuck up, I'm done with you. I'll do my own rules now. There's no consistent way to determine if you really did only headshot damage. That's why from now I'll be more flexile on my headshot rules. I will still most like headshot all enemies and bosses for the bonus damage, of course. Actually, I'll headshot even when you're not supposed to do it. This fucking melon head for example. You is blind. He's resistant to headshots but I still headshot on him. I am kinda like a headshotaholic. But I won't start all over again just because I missed a headshot. I mean this is too much insane even for me. Especially because I can't know for sure if I really did miss a headshot. I think it's worth to mention other good crossbows options. Let's see what we got here for example. The full moon crossbow has one of the highest damage output. It's a solid option along with pulley crossbow. Especially good when using magic bolts. Plus the reload animation is really dope. Another interesting option is Arbalist. Not that Arbalist, this one. The description made me think if this weapon is more effective with headshots, but I'm not sure yet. Anyways, returning to progress, this boss is a doggo, so his head is basically his front. Which is easy to headshot. Just shoot at him when he's coming towards you. In a life-threatening situation, the average person's heartbeat can be upwards of 175 beats per minute. A well-trained tango is able to stay cool, keep calm. Their heart rates can be 70 to 100 beats per minute. But by the time I'm done, that number goes down to zero. Now moving on, take the arrow's sting to listen. Take the arrow's reach as well. Both are going to improve your crossbow on the experience. Up to the next boss. The first stage is easy to headshot. The second stage is way harder to headshot. Her head is so tinny and she keeps moving around. After killing some bosses here, there, getting runs, getting stronger, showing no mercy for crybabies. 
I've come to think that 14 minutes have passed and I still didn't break this game. Also, I completely broke the headshot only rule. So now I will focus on break this game with crossbow only. Nothing else. It's not over until I sing, Guardian. And I never sing! So pleased you're here. Now I will do something that I should have done after Godric, which is a little gambit contract. This little game you're about to play, I call Gambit. You need to invade three times, just it. I'm eager to try this challenge on PvP. This is my favorite part, so let's get to work. Let's be bad guys. Invading! Make a mess! That's quite big. Impressive. The execution is I lay down my arm, Zeus! Release me from this tormentor! I will release you from your life, my son, but your torment is just beginning. Your enemy can't kill if they're dead. Ha <laughs> If you ain't rolling with us, you much part in my own to die. And with that, I'm not alone inside. I have no breaks here, ain't taking things off. Then my truck, and that's all cost. You just talk, it's my fast. Final blast! Destructive finish! Now, Judah! Take this! My special exploding superstar! Look! How's that? Are you brave enough to take this one? Why not? 357 Magnum round traveling at 490 meters per second. I'm a Do you want something heavier? Do you want something heavier? Then, my friends. I give you... Buggy Balls! Have a nice flight! <laughs> That's how you deliver a joke. Where did I find these fucking amateurs? What, what the fuck? Pokemon? Oh! <laughs> Is this how your mother likes it? I bet your mother likes it like this. She loves it. I've seen enough. Calling it there. Ugh, that's bullshit. I am done with PvP. Anyways, you only need to invade three times. I just got a little carried away. A low ult. Now you can get your reward. Do the final step from his quest line. Go claim your prize. Finally, reinforce your weapon to plus 10. Now it's time to definitely break Elden Ring, but first, you need more cash for Emma and such. So let's go face Radim. Admiral Radon, mightiest demigod of the Shattering, awaits you. Just keep your disdains and fire bleed bulls from afar. 
can't afford to try headshot him. He's a serious threat. Alright, now that you have some cash, buy some ammo from various types, like lightning, flame, magic and such. Great vaults as well. Speaking of which, the jar cannon is considered as ballista, which is basically a crossbow, but big. So I believe it should be allowed to use if you're flexile enough. Use the rest of your cash to level up, invest the minimal requirements and the rest on vigor and endurance. Now you have all ingredients to break this game. Let's start with the good and old technique done by Dead Shoda on Dark Souls 1. Spell Swap Glitch. Some things never changes. There's a similar glitch here in Elden Ring. When you buff your right hand weapon, it does a place to pull a crossbow on your left hand as well. So if you buff your right hand with lightning, that same amount buff will also apply to your pulley crossbow in your left hand. Not as broken as Dark Souls 1, but it's something. It is especially effective if you match the type of ammo with the type of buff. Also, you can use this in any kind of buff. The blue flame bleed, for example. You can make them bleed for about twice as fast. Good glitch, but this isn't a nod to break the game. Moving on, did you know you can fire a great bolt on a regular crossbow? Just jump and fire it in mid-air. Pretty simple. The damage isn't great because you're basically just firing a different type of ammo. But it is a good technique to knock down enemies. Alleged them. Now it's time to show you the ultimate deadshot of power. Weapon swap glitch. First, equip your bazooka at your right hand. Pulley crossbow on the left. Hold the left trigger and use the memory of grace. Here's how you do it. This will transfer your cannon damage into your crossbow damage. In other words, you're firing your cannon at the same fire rate of your pulley crossbow. With this glitch, you can beat any boss with no effort. Add some buffs in the mix and you got a hell of combination. I've noticed later that the damage transferred is from one hand. That means you need to put 34 in strength in order to get the best from the cannon. Make sure to reinforce your cannon at plus 10 as well. Well, that's it. It's broken. Enjoy. Almost heaven. There's a genius. New Ridge Mountains. Shenandoah River. Nineties all day. Older than the trees. Younger than the mountains, blowing like the breeze. Country roads, take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia, my mama, take me home. Country roads.
I'm a lord. Not even you. A man cannot kill a god. So, think you can kill a god? Don't think I have a choice. Honestly, you guys are making such a big deal of it. So she can hit and heal, but this isn't. <gasps> I'll destroy her! That's a very dangerous rescue, my friend! Where is he? He's being held captive by a Nicaraguan gun runner! A very dangerous man! Where? About two miles north! He's on a transport barge on the Kubango River! He may already be dead! Let's go, Hudson! <laughs> Pathetic. You don't deserve the title God of Destruction. all of them. At least the main bosses. I left behind some major optional bosses, but I believe Yuga's already got the picture. It's broken. Also, I used Mimic her Summo, which is basically a copy of mine. So we'll still use only crossbows. Anyways, it is done. As normally I would say. Thank you, <laughs>